to help him keep his grip. John Backer is considered to be the best solo free climber in the world. Let's join him as he prepares for an incredible rock climbing challenge. John Backer spends long hours every day keeping his body in top physical condition. He must rely on brute strength and extraordinary skill to take him to the top. John has turned his garage into a simulated mountainside so he can practice some of his more difficult rock climbing moves. This 35-foot boulder is John's training ground. He mentally and physically prepares himself for his major climbs by limbering up on this small slab of stone. John made his first solo free climb only five years ago, and he has since dedicated his life to being the best. I climb on the average 300 days a year, probably only taking one or two days off a week. Joshua Tree National Monument in California is a wonderland of rocks. Today, John will attempt to climb two rocks, each rated as extremely difficult. Remember, John will use no ropes or safety gear. Only an expert like John should ever attempt such a dangerous climb. He has chalk on his hands to reduce the sweat and lessen the chance of losing his grip. John's first challenge is a 50-foot cliff. He must literally walk upside down on the cliff's granite ceiling in order to get to the top. John's made it across the ceiling, but he's not out of danger. He is now entering one of the most treacherous parts of the climb. The crack running up the side of the rock is only half an inch thick. Barely enough room for John's fingertips. Lee completes the first of his two climbs and takes a moment to savor his victory. Now it's on to a much tougher challenge. John will attempt to climb the most dangerous rock ever to be scaled without the use of ropes. This rock is known to climbers as Leave It to Beaver. Because of its sharp angles and severe slope, it has rarely been climbed. towers more than 70 feet above the desert floor. It will be the ultimate test of John's free climbing skills. For the first half of the climb, a fine crack in the rock will serve as John's lifeline. Every move he makes must be very carefully calculated and thought out. The slightest mistake could easily cost John his life. John has now made it halfway up the rock and reached a very critical point in his life. He no longer has any long cracks to guide his hands and feet. The cracks on the mountain are too small to even accept his fingertips. John is truly at the mercy of the mountain. He must move onto the smooth face of the rock and rely on any wrinkles, bumps, or ledges he can find to complete this almost impossible climb.
John Backer has completed this incredible climb and proven once again that he's king of the mountain.